Hello everybody and welcome to a game called That's Not My Neighbor. Now this game completely took over the internet a a about a month ago, I'm gonna be honest. I'm a little late to the party, but regardless, we're gonna be playing this game. And the idea behind this game is, well, I I'm gonna be honest, I don't actually really understand. I just know that this door opens and then there's monsters. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna trust the tutorial. Arcade, mo that man has some very lovely eyes. The doppelgangers you let in don't kill you immediately, but at the end of the run, okay, you get a score rank at the end of the run according to your performance and the possibility to find and complete the Chester's quiz. I don't know what that is, but all right. All right, that's not my neighbor. Let's get into this quickly before the buzz dies down and I lose all the opportunity for free views. Oh. What's this? Oh. The following short film is a production of DDD with educational purposes. Oh! Hello! If you're watching this film, it's because you're the new doorman in your building! Your job is to determine whether the person who wants to enter the building is a doppelganger. As everyone knows, doppelgangers have an ability to transform into another person and impersonate them. But some are not good at it and can generate imperfections. Some, does that mean that some are perfect? You have to pay close attention to the appearance of your neighbors. Also, remember to fill out the checklist for each neighbor. You can't miss any detail because it could mean death for you or your- Oh! Oh, I see, they're murdering all of us. Okay. This is the structure of your office. Now we are going to explain how it works, alright? Looks just like the loading screen. Here's the security window. Don't forget to observe very well each individual who approaches. Okay, so we have to make sure they look right. On the right, you have folders with all the data of each neighbor according to the respective floor. You fill out the checklist. Take one of the lists in front of you. So, so this is literally a game where we're just doing paperwork in, on purpose. All right, so you allow them into the butt in the building if they're safe. And what do I do if if they're not safe? Press the emergency button and call 3312. You gotta remember it. 3312, 3312, 3312. All right. Communicate with the DDD or any apartment in your building. Use the telephone in front of you. Oh, are we gonna have to call the apartments to make sure it's the real guy? Your job is really important, so make sure you do it right. Finally, we congratulate the doorman of the month, Henry. Oh, good job, Henry. Good job. We're proud of you. It wasn't that he did an excellent job, but he was the only doorman who in the area who didn't get killed by doppelgangers. Oh. Well, good job, Henry. Good for you. Be like Henry. But better. <laughs> yeah, I will do that. Alright, so how does this work? Do people just... Good afternoon. Why is your face like that you know, uh, let's check the id um his name is isaac guy is he on the list uh appearance my head i slept on it badly last night you know i i guess that's pretty understandable i i, I suppose we can uh do something about that if we just really quickly um so three three one two all right, DDD. Hello. You've contacted the DDD. Oh, cleaning protocol completed. Well, okay, maybe this game is gonna be easier than I thought it was. I don't trust that mustache. That is not a trustworthy mustache. Are you on the list? You are. Why? Why do you have a hat? Is that important? You don't have a hat in any of these. Okay, where do you live? First floor. Uh, yeah. Where's a hat? Okay, that's part of his thing. He always wears a hat. I'm a resident of the building. I come for my job as a businessman. That works. That makes sense. Wait, what's this red button do? Because there's this red button, but what does this one do? Uh, everything seems to make sense. He's got the ID. Appearance looks good. He's got an entry request, and he's on today's list. Alright then. Alright, that's one guy in here. Hopefully he doesn't murder us. You're on the list, surprisingly. Okay, yeah, wait. Wait, what's this? No, date 1975. It's 1955, or is that an expiry date? That could be the expiry date. All right, this is a pretty easy game so far. Ah, oh, good afternoon. All right, you have a very large nose. Uh, are you supposed to wear a hat? Uh, wait, apartment four on the third floor. All right, that's correct. Big nose wears a hat. All right, he does have a hat. Got a monocle. The lawyer. Okay, yeah, but that's not really a reason to leave the building. Which apartment is he in? Can I phone him? But I can. 4258. 
Okay, Rappleton speaking. My husband is not at home. Oh, Rappleton is the housewife. All right. Okay, this was marketed to me as a horror game, but so far it's just... Um, you got a little something wrong with your uh, mouth there. Uh, you didn't give me an ID either. All right. Uh, appearance. Uh huh. Enter request. Okay. And uh, are you on today's list? You're not on today's list. Hmm. Well, you know, I'm, I'm sure I can forgive that. If that's a reasonable excuse to no. Bye. I thought this was gonna be like a spot the difference kind of game, but it's more just which of them is obviously a monster. Watch, I'm gonna get to the end and all the people that I left in are gonna be monsters. I'm gonna die. Good afternoon. You only gave me one file. Um, where is your entry request? Yes, sorry, I forgot to show it. All right, suspicious. Uh, Stalinky, I'm resident of the building. I come from my job as a public accountant. Ah. Oh! Okay, so she's there. Husband's not at home. Okay. His hat? Yes, he left it here. Oh, he was supposed to have a hat. I feel like I just let a doppelganger in. I'm gonna be honest here, guys. I feel like I messed up. Oh, hello. Are you the real one? I met a little little hiccup earlier with you. Job as a reporter, floor 202. Reporter, okay. Uh, you are on the list. Now, nobody should pick up here. Hello? Alright, nobody picked up. Uh, yeah, you're good. I don't know why they all talk in gibberish, though. That's a little strange. Oh, hello? Uh, you're not on today's list. Uh, Dr. W. Afton. Alright, that's that just makes me wanna punch you in the face. Let's see. Are you do you even live here? Uh where's your where's your entry request? Tell me that. Uh I came as my job as a physicist or psychisk or I don't know how to pronounce that word. Let's see. Oh no, that was the wrong one. Uh no, don't worry about it. I was just calling you ugly. Don't worry about it. Aren't you on the list? I should be on the list. Uh, I don't know about that. Look the list again. You're definitely not on the list, good sir. What if I call your friend Mia Stone? Is she there? Okay, so the phone number is 1425. Oh! Pick up. Hello? Hello, Mia speaking. Yes. Mia is not at home. Alright. I I'm gonna let him in. I don't think I should because he's not on the list, but I'm gonna let him in anyways. I already did you. You're already here. Sorry, I'm gonna call that apartment uh, real quick because I am very certain that you were already here. Yeah, Isaac's here. He's not expecting any visitors. Uh, yeah, you're not getting in here. Next up, you don't have that big a nose. Yeah, you don't have a nose of that shape. Goodbye. I don't like you. I don't like your nose, and I don't like your face, and that's why I'm going to have you murdered. All right, goodbye, Ms. Monsters, Inc. guy. I'll see you later. Am I a monster? Is that going to be the plot twist at the end of the game? Is there lore in this game? Is there, like, a story I'm supposed to be finding, or is it just this? Uh, yeah, all right, you can go. Oh, shoot, I should have called the apartment. Well, hopefully that's fine. Hopefully that's... You're not on the list. And you have a very large neck. And you also don't have a goatee. Alright, I know what to do here. That's what you get for having a haircut. Alright, a haircut is not an emergency situation. Next up. Or does it just go into... Oh! Oh! Oh, I think I messed it up. Uh, 
Oh no. Oh, Roman had a scar. Oh, I let the wrong I let the wrong Roman Stalinxi in the building. There were two of them. I let the doppel in and then turned around and killed the real one. All right. Hello, you don't have a mole. You are also not on the list. What's wrong with my appearance? Uh, well, you don't have a. You're supposed to have a mole on one of your cheeks. No, you're not on today's list. No. Uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna call the the room. Screw it. Six nine nine six. They should both be home. Hey, yeah, about your order. Your sister's not at home. But the appearance is wrong. And she hasn't acknowledged it. You know what? I'm not gonna trust it. I don't trust it. He's probably just wearing makeup, but she refused to tell me what kind of makeup, and therefore she must be killed. I'm sorry, that's just how it works. Hello, you have very yellow teeth. Why are your teeth so yellow? Are you, are you supposed to have yellow teeth? Uh, curly hair. I guess she just has yellow teeth. I guess that makes sense. Uh, yeah, that cut- that checks out. Wait, Bubbles. Yeah, that's her last name. Okay, I'm gonna let you in, but you gotta brush your teeth. Alright, uh, I recommend Colgate, that's what all the dentists say. You just look wrong. What is it about you that looks wrong? No, you actually match your photo perfectly, but something about you, you look wrong. Your face is unnatural. Where do you live? Or 202. Alright, bring on the next batch of people. I'm about to get stabbed, aren't I? I think the thing that stands out the most, you're not on today's list. Are you, are you sure about that? Are you sure? What happened to your eye as well? Don't worry about my eye. I'll visit a human doctor later. No, 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 no. No, I didn't mean to. I wasn't. I was trying to click the list. I was trying to click the list. You know, let's just open the door. See how many people go by. Oh, that's depressing. How long will it take for me to die if I just leave the door open? Oh, door's open. Hello? What is the meaning of life, the universe, and everything else? Uh, let's go with the movie reference. Oh my god, it is the movie reference! Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Uh, the scientific name of an Australian animal that drastically changes its appearance removed from its side. I have no idea. Let's go with 42. Ah, it only works once. It's taking a long time for me to die here. Oh, I'm so annoyed that I accidentally let the one doppelganger in. It's okay, because now the rest of them can come in. Yay! I'm gonna get the worst possible score for this. Hello? Oh! Ever dream this clown? Every night, all over the world, hundreds of people see this clown in their, in their dreams. If this clown appears in your dreams, don't play any game with him. If you want more info- Is that an actual link? Wait, that's literally just a link to one of his other games. We're just letting everybody in. Oh! Uh... Yeah, I'm sure that one's fine. I'm sure she's not gonna kill us. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, do, do you wonder which one it was? I still got B, what? Ow! We are gonna get a perfect S run to end off this video. Come on. Oh, so this is just like a permanent, I have a link to this guy's other games now. Where is your monocle? Oh! He's, he's got weird eyes. Well, I didn't take that into account. I almost got it. I almost taste your flesh. Oh, God. Um... Well, you know, at least he acknowledges when he when he's lost. Uh, you you're a good sport, buddy, but you still need to die. Sorry, I I need my paycheck. I love all the noises. It's not, it's not talking. It's just. Ah, uh, it's this guy again. Hello, are you Chester? What is the meaning of life, the universe, and everything else? Forty two. I've seen a Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I know the answer here. All right, we're we're gonna Google this. Okay, once well, I'm googling what the answers are for these questions because there's just so many of them. All right, we're gonna. Can we copy paste the answer? We can. What is the name of the only sport that allows you to punch your opponent in the face because they capture a piece? Yes, boxing. All right. How many times do you have to fold a 0.01 millimeter thick sheet of paper to cover the distance between Shire and Mordor? It feels like it should be a bit more than 38. 
but Google is saying that it's 38. Um, the key is hide. I don't know how to unscramble that. Uranus, all right. Global warming is a consequence of the fact that since the 19th century, the number of of what decreases? Let's see. Pirates. I don't know what that has to do with global warming, but all right. All right, that's all the answers. You managed to answer all my questions correctly. Congratulations, you have earned my badge. Oh, we got a Chester badge. Goodbye. And he's leaving. The power of Google, it's too strong. Well, guys, that's all the time we have for this video. Um, I guess we were playing a game other than Minecraft for once, so that was fun. Here, click on this end screen. It's a link to another video where I played a game that wasn't Minecraft. And then here's a link to another video that's a game where I, I did play Minecraft for a while with Create Mod. That was pretty fun. Anyways, um, yeah, bye. I'm so good at outros.